Okay, so this is a, a follow-up video um, to a video made by Inside Guy that basically showed that you could use uh, an attenuator as a as a load, uh, and he did that. Uh, he sh he basically had a video where he um, showed uh, measuring that with a VNA to kind of show uh, what that looks like. Um, here I'm going to show doing the same thing on a TDR, and what I want to see is whether or not. Um, using a, a, an attenuator like one of these, whether or not it acts like a load. Um, so let's just first of all try with a load, an actual load. And what you're seeing here on the TDR is the um, basically the reflection off the far end coming back. Um, the impedance is it open on the far end, so it like, you know, completely reflects. Uh, if I put this uh, 50 ohm terminator in there, so this is a real terminator, and you can see that it kind of levels off. So you, you basically have no reflection. If I tighten it down, perfectly flat. Um, let me take this back out. Um, and let's try on, let's try the smallest one first. Uh, he had like a 30 dB. I don't think I have that big of one, but we can stack these, I guess. So, here, so here's a 6 dB uh, attenuator. And the idea is that as the signal goes through, it'll hit this and reflect back and you you basically the, the total reflection back will have to go down 12 db right um so with this in place you can kind of see that it's getting close to what it looks like uh with a, with the um with the load and by the way this uh this rising edge here i think is around 20 picoseconds 30 picoseconds or so uh that means that and in order to to properly um you know catch the this the harmonic content on that raising edge, you'd have to basically um, stop all reflections up to around 20 gigahertz or so. That's the di digital knee, if you look in the um, the, the PCB Black Magic book. Anyway, um, if you can if you can basically filter out everything up to that point, then you'll be good. And I think you know if these term I looked up these terminators basically mini circuits uh, attenuators go up to about 12 gigahertz or so. This model is the FW6. And I think, um, you know, for things higher than that frequency, maybe it'll just attenuate it anyway. I'm not sure what happens at higher than what they rate it at. Um, maybe you just get, maybe you get attenuation, but it's greater than 6 dB. Who knows? Um, and that's kind of what we want. We don't want uh, anything to kind of get back out um, and reflect. So let's try the next one up. Let's try, here's a 10, a 10 dB. See what it does to this edge. Tighten that down. Yep, it's pretty good. You can see a little bit of a um, reflection coming back, almost all gone. Um, and then let's try the, the last one. Let's see. Here's the 15 dB. Yeah, that's pretty much getting to be like a you know a termination at that point. Um, and then if I stack these, let's see. He had if I let's say I stack a 10 and a 15, that's going to basically get rid of all of it, right? Yeah. You can see that little tiny glitch right there. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but. This basically looks like a load. You can't tell the difference between this and this and the, and the uh, TDR output. So I think, at least in the time domain and the way reflections look, or the lack of reflections, if you will, uh, they're effectively the same. All right, thanks for watching.